Good morning, Dr. Westbourne. How are you feeling today? Is the morning sickness any better? I pity that child. Hey, Fee. Yes, Brad. I've got your patient's test results. Uh -uh. What do I get for him? A backhand to the face. Oh, promise. Brad, any day now? Next time. Excuse me while I boil myself in hand sanitizer. He's not that bad. You're only saying that because you're not the one he winked at. Look, he's just an insecure guy trying to make a stab at a human connection. Or he's a slimeball lackey of the bridge mistress. I'm telling you, they're up to something. You know it has something to do with you and Patrick. Britt and Brad are not plotting to come between me and Patrick, okay? Yes, please, that's exactly what they're doing. And the last time you had a conspiracy theory, you were completely wrong. Okay, go ahead, shoot the fabulous messenger. Okay, look. I confronted Britt about faking the morning sickness. Turns out she had hyperemesis gravidarum. So she now looks like the victim, and I'm the meddling Martha. Or not. Come on, face it. We both know Britt is more than happy to draw Brad into her web of lies. And yes, I've always wanted to say those words. Okay, do you really think that Brad would falsify test results? At least. Hell, if that skis was not so far up my grill that I could see his fleas, I'd speculate he was the one that got the wicked Westmore knocked up in the first place. Okay, look. Even if you're right and Brad is working for Brit, there's no way to prove it. I'll contraire my bell. I have a plan, but I'm gonna need an assist. You game? Uh, I don't know about this, Felix. Trust me, it'll work. At what cost? You're my friend. You're worth the sacrifice. I trust you'll keep your mouth shut. Excuse me, doctor. May I speak uh, with you? I'm in the middle of something. It's it's important. Uh, we're done here. Right, doc? Fine. What's so important? You got a sec? <clears throat> For you? Sure. What you need, Fee? I thought I'd, um, take your temperature. <laughs> so, you want to see how hot I am, Fee? <laughs> you just seemed feverish. Hey, your fault. I just get warm all over whenever you walk by. <laughs> Listen, why don't we uh, take this party back to my place? I might need to be put to bed. <laughs> Let's not jump the gun. Okay, looks like we won't be disturbed. So now we can talk. What happened to your clothes? Got rid of them. Oh. Didn't need them, and uh, you ain't gonna need yours either. My, aren't you, um, forward? <laughs> Come on. Haven't we wasted enough time already? Huh? Or been making eyes? Yeah? Circling each other for, for what, months? <laughs> I was beginning to think you didn't like me. Really? Because mm -hmm. for the longest time, I didn't even think you were gay. Why not? Um, because you're so, um, uh, oh. <clears throat> butch. And you're always hanging out with Brit. Doc, what's born? <laughs> uh, she doesn't have what I want. And why are you so close with her? I'll tell you what. I'll give it up if you give it up. That's very generous of you, Patrick, but it's not that simple. Why not? Excuse me. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll need round-the-clock supervision, and, and that's prohibitively expensive. Well, the insurance company, I'm sure, will cover half of it, and whatever's left, I'll do the rest. Well, there's, um, there's another problem. I'm losing my place. How did you lose your place? I didn't resign my lease. I was looking for something bigger with the baby coming. Only somebody swiped the two bedroom I wanted, and I can't look for a place being on bed rest. And my old apartment got rented, so now I don't have a place to live. Right. Which makes the live-in nurse really beside the point. And 
I need a bedroom. Like yesterday. What did he do to you? I've seen Brad naked. Oh, my God. I've, uh, I could wash my eyes out with bleach. I could stare directly into the sun until I go blind, but I can't unsee it. I knew this couldn't work. I'm sorry, I just couldn't sex the truth out of Brad. <laughs> Felix, thank God. I didn't want you to make that sacrifice. I almost lowered my standards straight to the floor, all the way to China, when I had this vision of Epiphany coming at me with this big needle full of antibiotics. I just couldn't go through with it. Good. Felix, I'm glad you didn't, okay? Look, we'll find another way to get the truth. <laughs>